Mark 4 verse 22 says, For there is nothing hid, and this is what I want you to know. Nothing the enemy is doing will ever be hidden from you. Because they are not hidden from God, they will not be hidden from you in the name of Jesus. God will reveal each and every one of them. He says, For there is nothing hid which shall not be manifested, neither was anything kept secret, but that it should come abroad. This will be your testimony because everything that is done against you in the secret, God will bring it to the open. The people who were masterminding it, the people who were behind it, will be the ones that will come out in the open and start confessing. They will be the ones that will come out in the open and start speaking of the evil they have done against you. So he's telling you, fear them not. Matthew 10 verse 26. It says, fear them not. You know they are doing what they are doing against you, but you don't know what they are doing. Soon, God will expose each and every one of them and by themselves, they will come out revealing all the evil plots they are done against you. They will come out revealing all the things they have done, but God did not allow it to succeed in the name of Jesus. For there is nothing it which shall not be manifest, my God, dear child of God. Whatever it is that may have been done against you in the secret, the Lord will cause each and every one of them to manifest everything that had been done against you, God will bring each and every one of them abroad and you will know them, you will see them and the Lord will cause you to be vindicated in the mighty name of Jesus. Do you know you serve a God that knows everything, that nothing is ever hidden from him and he says nothing is secret of which the knowledge will not come to light, nothing is secret of which the knowledge will not come to light everything done in darkness god will bring it to light and you will see it you will know it and you will have a reason to praise god you see he has said that surely the lord god will do nothing but he revealed his secret unto his servant the prophet the child of god in the same way he will not allow the evil ones to be able to do anything that they have planned against you he will reveal all of their secret plan to you because you are his servant because you have chosen to serve him it will cause your eyes to know it will give you a supernatural understanding and you will know every single thing that was done in the secret because he had determined that no plans of the enemy will ever succeed against you in the mighty name of jesus so he's saying to you fear them not do not be afraid. They can gather as much as they want. They can do all the enchantment that they want to do. They can plan all the things they want to plan out. But the Lord God will continually reveal each and every one of them to you. He will make sure that everything they have done against you will be brought to the open. They shall all be manifested and nothing will be done in the secret. That thing they have done to keep you from receiving that blessing that God had already sent out and released unto you. Dear child of God, you will know how they did it because the Lord will reveal it. That thing they have done to cause affliction to come upon you, you will know how they did it because the Lord will reveal it and cause you to enjoy that freedom and cause you to experience that ease that you had prayed for. He said, fear them not, therefore, for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed and hid that shall not be known. God will cause you to know them. This scripture in Matthew 10 26 will come alive for you and for your family and it will be a testimony because God himself that reveals everything and brings each and every one of them to judgment will reveal everything they have been doing in the mighty name of Jesus. He said in Ecclesiastes 12 verse 14, for God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing. My God, this is with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Dear child of God, 
every evil that has been done against you, God will bring to judgment in the name of Jesus. Every single thing that was done in the secret, God will bring it to judgment and it will cause your heart to be glad. It will cause you to rejoice because he had exposed everything the enemy was doing against you and against your family. So be at peace, dear child of God. For he has said very clearly to you in Luke 8 verse 17, For nothing is put out of you which will not be made clear. For nothing is put out of you which will not be made clear. He revealed all the sacred plot of the king of Aram. That the king was enraged and would call his servants to make demand. He would say to them, Tell me, which one of us is on the side of the king of Israel? But one of the servants replied, No one, my lord the king, for Elisha, the prophet in Israel, tells the king of Israel the very words you speak in your bedroom. Dear child of God, this is what will happen. Everything they are saying in their bedrooms, everything they are saying in their secret place, the Lord will reveal them to you. He made this possible for Jeremiah. Jeremiah will say that he knew everything they were doing because the Lord had revealed it, because the Lord had made it known, because the Lord brought it to his knowledge. Dear child of God, the Lord will bring everything done against you to your knowledge. He will expose each and every one of them that nothing they have planned anymore will succeed from this day and forth. They will see everything they are doing to be very frustrating because the Lord had not caused it to succeed in the name of Jesus. You will be in your bedroom and the Lord will show you everything that the enemy is planning. It will cause their mouth to begin to speak to you. Somebody will call you and start telling you all the things that they are doing against you. Somebody will call you and reveal the plot that they have had against you and this is how the Lord will preserve you and this is how the Lord will vindicate you in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear child of God, he says that you should trust him. He says that you should have confidence in him because he's the one that would bring to judgment every of this evil thing they are doing against you. The Lord will judge each and every one of them. He will expose them and it will bring each and every one of them to shame in the mighty name of Jesus. When does they see you, they will be ashamed in the name of Jesus because the Lord had exposed them, because the Lord had revealed all of their evil plots to you in the mighty name of Jesus. And forever you will keep reigning, forever you will be preserved in the mighty name of Jesus. Remember, nothing that will be done in secret Nothing that will be done in the place of darkness. Nothing that will be done in the night, in darkness, that will not be revealed to you. Because the Lord is giving you a supernatural understanding in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It will cause you to be preserved. It will cause every member of your families to be preserved. That all the evils planned against you will never succeed anymore, ever again. None of them will succeed. It will cause them not to succeed anymore. Never again will they succeed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The grace of the Lord will be upon you and you will keep receiving the strength of the Lord in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Fear them not, he's saying to you. Fear them not, for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed and hid that shall not be made known. This will be your testimony and you will not be afraid anymore my god he said you overthrew your adversaries by your great power he says you oppose them by your great power he says you unleashed your burning anger it consumed them like stubble he said in thy greatness your majesty has overthrew them he said those who rise against you those who rise against you shall condemn those who voices that is rising against you dear child of God you shall condemn in the mighty name of Jesus today I want you to know that everything trying to crush you everything trying to destroy you everything trying to see that nothing is working in your life today you shall overthrow them those adversaries 
you shall overthrow them all in the mighty name of Jesus. And it will happen by the excellency of God's power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He says, your right hand, O Lord, was majestic in power. Dear child of God, the enemies will say, God is fighting against us. Yes, they said it. That let's flee from these people because God is fighting for them against us. God made sure that those adversaries were overthrown. God made sure that he unleashed his burning wrath and consumed every one of them. Today, dear child of God, you will see the majestic power of God. You will see God do valiantly for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. And those that want you consumed, they shall be consumed. Those that want you destroyed, they shall be destroyed. Those that want you forgotten, they will be the ones that will be forgotten. Those that want you to bury your head in shame, they will be the one that will bury their head in shame. Dear child of God, today, turn to God and say, God, I want to see your mighty act. I want to see your mighty power. I want to see you change my situation for the best. Yes, I want to see you fix up everything around my life that ought to be fixed up. They have been chasing after you to destroy you. They have been doing everything to consume you. They have been doing everything to sniff life out of you. They have been doing everything to see that you drown. They have been doing everything to see that you are consumed. They have been doing everything. To see that nothing good happens to you. But today, God will make sure they will be overthrown. God will make sure they will not be able to stand against you anymore. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All of the people that Amen had put in place to destroy Mordecai could not succeed. Because God overthrew them. God overthrew Amen from the very beginning. God will overthrow them all in the mighty name of Jesus. Those who are there to see that you are thrown into the fire, they'll be the ones that will be consumed in the name of Jesus. You see, they wanted to throw Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego into the fire. They eventually did, but they were not consumed. My God, God made sure they were preserved. And those people that threw them into the fire, were the ones that were consumed. They were the ones that were overthrown. They were the ones that they were the ones that met the end that they intended for the people of God. Today, those seeking your life to destroy, if they don't repent, they will be the ones going down for your sake. Because he clearly stated it in his word. He said he will make sure that those adversaries shall be overthrown he would make sure those people that do not want you to succeed he said he would make sure that they would be destroyed he would make sure they will not be able to carry out any evil plans again he said it very clearly he says that their hands could not carry out their evil intentions they could not carry out their evil enterprise their child of god their hands could not carry out their enterprise what is it they are planning against you? What is it they are saying that would happen to you very soon? What is the thing that they are saying would happen against your family? It will not come to pass. Dear child of God, it will not succeed in the mighty name of Jesus. In Job 5 verse 12, he made it clear. He said he disappointed the devices of the craft. He says so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise so that they will not be able to succeed in their intentions in all of their evil intentions say so that they will not be able to say that they were gloating over you because their evil intentions because the attacks that they had intended against your family came to pass the child of god today god will be there for you to preserve you to protect you to help you to guide you and it would make sure that you would not be overthrown. Dear child of God, even the things that is meant to consume you, even the things that was meant to destroy you, even the places you have found yourself that you were not supposed to get out from, 
God will make sure you get out so that you would have reasons to testify, so that you would have reasons to uphold others. And it will make sure those who wanted you destroyed, those who wanted you overthrown, those who wanted you to sorrow, dear child of God, those who want you to cry yourself to sleep every day, they will be the ones lamenting. They will be the ones regretting in the mighty name of Jesus. They will be frustrated. He says that he frustrates the devices of the crafty, their evil devices, their evil manipulations. Yes, the means at which they project evil towards you, dear child of God. Today, God will make sure that they will frustrate everything that they are trying to do. And their hands will not be able to carry out their evil enterprise in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. One thing that you should be assured of today, dear child of God, is that God had promised you that he will not allow the evil plans of the enemies to come to pass. He had assured you that they will not be able to gloat over you. So why worry? Do not worry anymore. Do not allow yourself to be consumed because you are afraid. Do not allow dread to come upon you. Because you have the mighty warrior. Because you have the mighty in battle. Because you have the mighty God securing you and helping you. I want to assure you of this. Today, you will see God save you. You will see God rescue you. And you will see God consume those devourers. Those ones that wanted you destroyed. Those ones that wanted you to cry. Those ones that wanted you to sorrow, they will be the ones, if they refuse to repent this very day, they will be the ones that will be crushed. They will be the ones that will be consumed. They will be the ones that would be written off in the mighty name of Jesus. Many times they attempted God's people to see that they were destroyed, but God made sure he returned back to them. God will make sure Nothing they are doing would ever succeed against your life. Dear child of God, always have this at the back of your mind. Nothing they are doing would ever succeed. Nothing they are attempting would ever come to pass. And so shall it be. They will be frustrated. Everything they are planning to do will not stand. It will not succeed. As God did for David and preserved him. And turned the wisdom of Ahitophel to foolishness. And God made sure those who wanted him consumed were the ones consumed. Yes, Absalom was looking for ways to destroy him. King Saul was looking for ways to destroy him. Many of them were looking for ways to destroy him. But what happened? He was preserved. And everyone, Haithophel, the rest of them, that was looking for ways to bring him down were the ones that were brought down. They're child of God. They wanted to bring you down. They will be the ones that will be going down for your sake. They wanted to see that you are shut up for life. Dear child of God, your voice will be heard. And your voice would never come to existence anymore. Except they repent. Except they stop this very moment. Except they turn back to God. Except they stop their wicked and evil malicious intentions. Dear child of God, except they stop today. The wrath of God is coming upon them. The judgment of God is coming upon them. And the evils that they had intended to see happen to you will return back to them and you shall be saved. You will enjoy your life, the blessings of God. In the land of the living, you shall be greatly blessed because the Lord has said, you are the one that will be blessed. You are the one that will be preserved. You are the one that shall be protected. Their evil plans will not succeed. They will not be able to perform the things that they intend to do against your life. Please trust God. Hold on to Him. Have faith. And I want to assure you, you will continually testify in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you. And shalom.